the writer doesn't miss a point at reminding his reader of the Quranic frequent call to reflect deeply upon these natural phenomena. Two verses, number 6 and 7, chapter 78, give a description of the folding, faulting, and uplift of the earth's crust. Have we not made the earth as a cradle for you, a wide expanse, and the mountains as pegs in it? Pegs, Bukai explains, are those metal pieces hammered in earth to fasten and secure tents. The existence of a natural harmony orchestrating the opening out of the earth's mantle and firming the mountains is all but evident to modern geologists. There must be a reason for harmony with all the things that are on top of the mantle of the earth that is a bit fluid, not totally but a bit fluid, meaning it, is, it allows things to, to move on it a little bit. The continent is made of light colored elements and light, and light rocks and therefore it is very thick and it has roots beneath the surface. That route can be up to 35 kilometers. The sea bottom is made of the very dense uh, elements, a very heavy type of rock called basalt. The weight for it is so high that the thickness of it can be only five kilometers. From five kilometers under the ocean to 35 kilometers under the sea, the whole thing is kind of round and nice, but this one has roots down into the mantle, and this one has, they has its thickness much less because it is made of heavy rock. So there is a reason for that statement that indeed the continents have these roots and because of the composition variations and the gravitational input on that uh, whole structure.